chosen ones, empaths, you've got to understand that the narcissist in your life, when they first saw you, when they first laid their eyes on you, they were like an eagle circling around over a decaying carcass in the desert, watching you, watching you until they're ready to strike. Now I'm telling you that you basically, in all honesty, to be quite blunt and frank, you fell in love with yourself. Narcissists, the original narcissist and the basis of what the word is based on is from Greek mythology of where narcissist fell in love with his reflection. He saw himself in the water. He was told the first person he lays eyes on, um, he'll fall in love with or something like this. And he looked into the water, saw his reflection and fell into the water and killed himself. This is what the story, this is where the word originates from, narcissist, even though it was narcissist, the original word in Greek. Now, what I'm trying to say to you is, is everything that you value, you think you like about the narcissist, every single little minuscule thing that you felt like you fell in love with, or any bit of love that any fragment, any minuscule of love with inside your body towards that demonic entity, which what they are, is actually a reflection of yourself. It's nothing but a reflection of yourself. When you were sitting at a table with them, eye to eye, and you were conversing, they were mirroring you. They were basically, you were looking into a mirror. They were mirroring you to such a degree just to get inside your heart. That's what they were doing. You fell in love with yourself, and I'm sorry to say it, that's who you like about the narcissist. When you miss the love bomb, you miss the good days, you miss, the, you miss yourself. That's what you miss. I'm being honest. This is the total honest truth. You fell in love with yourself. That is basically what the narcissist does. They manipulate you by mirroring you and making you making this have this soulmate effect. You see, from this mirroring, the soulmate effect comes into play. You see, you believe this is the one. This is my companion. This is my other half. This is my soulmate. This is my divine counterpart. This is who I'm destined to be with. This is my Eve to the Adam or Adam to her Eve. You believe all of these things, all of these superficial things, because you've basically been falling in love with yourself. They are nothing what they, what they told you they are. It's so, what everything you think, the not, if, these, if these wounds are still fresh for you, I want you to really listen hard. Everything you believe the narcissist is, from the love bomb to the discard or from when you had to cut them off, is a lie. You do not know that person. You do not know what they're about. You do not know their moral compass. You don't know nothing. Even during the discard. Even during the discard, there's a mask. We talk about unmasking. They're still, they're still they're just showing you another face. They're showing you a bit more of who they are. Yeah, the nasty side. But it's still fabricated. They don't even know who they are themselves. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. They're like social chameleons. They don't even know who they are themselves. You have to understand this about the narcissist. They don't even know who they are themselves. They are subject to demonic entities. They, they harbor demonic entities with inside them. They have collected souls of so many supplies they have been sexually intimate they're actually like that's why in my last video i talked about us being captain saver hole and i'm not just addressing females here male there can be jezebel spirits can be in a female or a male right these lot are consumed with the jezebel spirit the succubus spirit the incubus spirit they're, they're consumed with so many spirits and also they're consumed with so many souls from their past intimate partners. These lot have high levels of promiscuity. They have high levels of sexual activity. And it doesn't do anything but destroy the body itself. You know, I've mentioned about the fact of the microchimerism. You see, there's something, there's a, there's, you should look into the study, look in, type in 
sexual DNA micro uh, found in woman's brain. DNA found in woman's brain. It should come up. It's a, called a microchimerism. Now, if you've been intimate with a with a woman, right? This is for the men now. If the man, if you've been intimate with the female narcissist, right? You have to understand that your your sperm lives in their brain. It's been proven that the DNA lives in the brain. This is why they take on traits of their previous partners, right? There is an energy transfer between female to male too, but what I'm trying to say is as the woman is the receiver, they receive the sperm to fertilize the egg that grows the, the person. So therefore, but it's found in a woman's brain. Now this is actually scientifically speaking, we're not even getting onto the spiritual basis now of when they've collected bodies, when they've collected souls. They have so many souls attached to them, so many soul ties, right? And they're trying to capture you too, right? That's why they, they are so lost and disgusting, right? We don't need, we haven't even taken into consideration, look, basically, from a scientific point of view, let's base it from a scientific point of view. These people are so promiscuous and they have such a high level of sexual activity in their previous past, right? that they have collected a lot of DNA from their, from their partners, right? There's also possibilities of sexually transmitted diseases. Now we'll touch on the spiritual stuff. They have collected so many soul ties, right? You've got to understand they're connected to so many souls. They're subject to intrusive thoughts about their exes, about their previous partners, about the, it will never get out of them whether male or female i hope you understand where i'm coming from this i hope i made that clear both a male and a female can gain soul ties there's an energy transfer sex sex is an energy transfer that's what it is and when you're intimate with someone you create a soul tie but when you're intimate with a narcissist you create a demonic soul tie and these narcissists have so many soul ties attached to them they are like a walking, they're just, they're a walking demon. They, 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 they're not themselves. They don't know themselves. They're subject to thoughts because they, they're connected. You lot might not believe in telepathy, but I'm telling you that when you're thinking and ruminating about the narcissist, it's actually because the narcissist is ruminating about you, right? The narcissist is subject. They'll, they'll be with a new supply thinking about their ex. They'll be with a new supply trying to turn that new supply doing sexual stuff that their ex used to do this is what they're like this is how disgusting they are they're not when you got to understand that when you got into a relationship with them they were still um had people on the hook they they, they might have made you the, the the prime source of supply because they knew you were grade a supply but they still had bodies around them they still had soul ties around them Right, you need to look into that study of the micro cameras, and this is why I talk about celibacy and the importance of refraining from being sexually intimate with the wrong type of person because it's very dangerous. There was an old lady that told one of my friends that bad things were happening in his life, and she said, You've probably been with someone that's been with a lot of people. It's true, you take on the energy, you take on the souls. You take on the characteristics. I'm telling you, it's very dangerous, right? But I've gone way off topic here because basically this video was about how the narcissist mirrors you. Now, the narcissist mirrors you to such a degree to show you yourself, to get inside your soul, to basically make you fall in love with yourself. You fall in love with your own reflection. Well, so day one is... Oh, we got things in common. Day two is like, oh wow, I say that thing. Oh, I'm a believer in that. Day three is this. Day three, day four, day five. Day, do you know what I mean? Then they, then they're your soulmate. Counterfeit soulmate, really. But this is how quick the love bomb happens. This is why they love bomb you. They're mirroring you during this love bomb period, and they're showing you yourself, and they're showing you what you are. So it's like, you know, oh day one we see eye to eye. 
Day two. Oh, we got so much in common. Day three. Soulmate. Day four. You know what I'm saying? And it's just you're falling in love with your own reflection. You're dealing with someone who is manipulating you by mirroring you to create the soulmate effect. They're not your soulmate. They're not your companion. They're not your other half. They're not your divine counterpart. They're sent by the enemy. They're a Jezebel. They're an incubus. They're a succubus. That's what they are. Now, I'm not that well versed on the incubus, succubus terminology, but I know that they're spirits, right? I know some affect men, some affect women, whatever. But what, basically, to sum up the message, you're dealing with a demon. You're dealing with someone who has got so many demons attached to them. It's unreal. It's unreal. I'm telling you. And that's why I say to you, if they're out of your life now, you're still connected. You're still connected to them. You need to sever that soul tie from yourself. You need to understand and get into your mind that that person's not your soulmate. That they, they, they're just an ex. That's all they are. That's all they'll ever be. They're an ex. They're ex. Ex marks the spot. Not where the buried treasure is. Where the pit of snakes are. Right? I know X marks the spot on a treasure map and that's where the gold is and everything. But I'm telling you, this X is not that type of X. This X is a demon. This X is nothing but a pit of snakes, right? And you need to understand this. You need to get it ingrained into your mind, into your heart, into your soul, into your spirit. You need to internalize this message. This breaks the trauma bond. This breaks the soul tie. They have brainwashed you and indoctrinated you to believe that they are made for you. They're not made for you. You're made for you. They mirrored you and made you think that they think like you. If you catch sight of the narcissist around another group of people, you'll be like, yo, that's not even the same person. Catch them a couple. If you actually caught them, even during the times when they was with you, if you saw them in a social setting, where you're not present, where you're not present, you'd be like, yo, you're not who you say you are. I'm telling you, when you're present, yes, they'll have the mask on. But if you had, if you were to fly on the wall in a social setting when you're not present and you was a fly on a wall, you would see exactly what the narcissist is about. You would see how they're mirroring other people. How you and all the values that they say they stood for with you, everything they stood for was a complete and utter lie. They have no morals. They have no moral high ground. They have no moral compass. They are demons. They are walking, talking demons. And I know it's a shame that we got intertangled with them, but I want to let you see the beauty and the detail. We was brought, these individuals were brought into our lives because we are highly intuitive beings of light we are healers we are fixers we are problem solvers and we needed to learn something the universe and god wanted to teach us about the spirit of discernment for us to obtain the spirit of discernment we had to be faced with the jezebel we had to be faced with the succubus the incubus whatever you want to call it right we had to be faced with that demon we had to be you know for us to realize and value what good is. Now we know the bad, we can recognize the good. Now we know the bad, we can see the red flags. We can see the good in people. We can see toxic people around us now. After we encounter the narcissist, we, we see it in the workplace. We see it in friendship circles. We see it in family members. We see, it, we see the narcissistic dynamics, dynamics rampant throughout society. We see it in world leaders. We see it in, you know... In, in CEOs of business corporations, they're psychopaths. A lot of these top psycho, top CEOs are psychopaths. Not all psychopaths just go out on a murdering spree. Not all narcissists just go out on a on a murdering spree. I did say in a previous video that a lot of narcissists and psychopaths are actual uh, sexual predators and are pedophiles, and I will stand by that because that's what I believe they are because they're devoid of empathy in the prefrontal cortex and they don't understand it. Like someone who's an empath won't be able to harm another being in that way. 
you know someone who's an empath won't be able to do that so you've got to understand this it's very important that you get into your mind that you fell in love with your reflection it's nothing but mirroring I promise you it's nothing but mirroring the narcissist manipulated you by mirroring to create the soulmate effect you have to understand it's just an effect it's a it's a mirage it's not real there was no soulmate there was no companionship I don't care if you were married I don't care if you was engaged I don't care if you was boyfriend and girlfriend I don't care if you whatever your title was yeah I don't care if you was even the king and the queen I don't even care if you was a prince and a princess. If that, if one of those partners is a narcissist, you are dealing with a walking, talking, mirroring demon. That's what you're dealing with. That is what you're dealing with. I don't care what superficial titles you put over it or tried to cover it up with. Boyfriend, girlfriend, um, boo, uh, prince, princess, king, queen. They're not your queen, they're not your king They're a demon Do you know who their king is? Their king is Lucifer himself Their king is Satan himself Their king is the Baphomet himself Their king is the devil himself That's who their king is That's who their ruler is That's who they're subservient to They're subservient to a demon that's lower than yourself you have to understand that the devil is lower than the human being. The demon is lower than the human being. And they have become subservient to something that's less than you. We're subservient to God because he's the most high. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth and all that's in between it. We're subservient to him or you're subservient to the universe and you understand it in spirituality and you're subservient to the universe. Regardless, you're subservient to the creation, you're subservient to nature. You're not subservient to something that's less than a creation than you. The demon is less of a creation than the human being. And these individuals, these parasites, these narcissists are subservient to these demonic entities. They are subservient to them. They worship them in some cases. I know some of you lot don't like me to say it, but I'm telling you that a lot of these, these narcissists, they perform ritualistic behaviors. And a lot of you don't believe me, but there are plenty spiritual narcissists out there. I'm not saying you dealt with a spiritual narcissist, but I dealt with a spiritual narcissist. I know they perform dark arts. I know they're into that, that way of thinking. You know, they would rather choose and worship Satan than worship God. I know for a million percent fact they're a spiritual narcissist. And they will walk around chanting with my name in their shoes. Oh, and I mentioned like, oh, hey Arnold and Helga. My ex-narcissist is exactly like Helga. That's who that is. She's got a shrine of me. She tried to keep trinkets of mine. She's a proper dusty weirdo man i'm telling you nothing but a demon that mirrored me to such a degree to make me fall in love with my own reflection and i know the truth now this is why they run scared this narcissist will never come around me ever again in their lives this narcissist knows i've door slammed bolted and welded it shut right this is what you need to do you need to break the 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 um the, soup, the, the reality that this person was a loving companion They were never that They never will be and never can be You need to break that They was never your wife They was never your husband They was never your boyfriend They was never your girlfriend You were spiritually attacked by a demon That mirrored you And they basically done this to create the soulmate effect They done this to trick you They done this to trick you to fall in love they are a Jezebel, whether male or female. Remember, Jezebel is male or female. It doesn't have to just be a woman. A lot of people think that Jezebel is just a woman. No, it can be male or female. Now, I'm telling you, you need to be careful moving forward. You need to use this discernment that we've learned. You need to understand that people do mirror you. You, you need to be reserved in conversations. You Like, God will guide you. God will show you red flags in people and you'll know. And I'm telling you, you need, you need this going forward. Otherwise, we're going to make the same mistakes again. Just beware that people mirror you and they're sitting across from you because they've got nothing interesting to say about themselves. They don't have interesting lives. They're very boring, mundane creatures and they mirror.
you because you're interesting because you're highly intuitive and because you are a being of light so anyway thank you for watching today please press the like and the subscribe button if you would like to donate to the channel you can find the link in the description box and if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself you can also find the link in the description box currently i have the secondary channel the spiritual channel if you would like more spiritual content head over there and check it out so anyway thank you for watching today catch you all soon peace